So the question asks, Zimbabwe and Portugal would not be able to gain from trade if Zimbabwe's opportunity cost of one toothbrush changed to. So in order to figure out this question, we need to construct two production possibilities frontier curves. And right here, I have drawn it for Zimbabwe and Portugal. Now on the y-axis, we'll have the toothbrushes and the maximum that Zimbabwe can produce would be three. And the maximum hairbrushes it can produce would be 10. For Portugal, it would be five toothbrushes and over here it would be six hairbrushes. The next step to do is to figure out who has the comparative advantage over which commodity. And the way we do that is by setting up two ratios. The first would be for every three toothbrushes we have ten hairbrushes. Over here we would have five toothbrushes for every six hairbrushes. So we will compare the hairbrushes first. And to do that, we divide both sides by three. And this gives us one, and this will give us 3.3. .3. Over here, we divide by five, and we divide by five. This will give us one, and this will give us 1.2. Now notice here that these cancel out so that when we get one here, we are going to compare these two values. And we can see here that this is much greater than 1.22. So this value belongs to Zimbabwe. So Zimbabwe has a comparative advantage for the hairbrushes. I'll just write hair. And I'm going to make note of that up here. So I'm going to write 3.3 .3 is greater than 1.2. And this will fall under the hair brushes. That'll come back later on. So now we reverse the process and we do it all over again. So once again, we set up the ratios. But instead of dividing by 3 this time, we're going to divide by 10. I should write that in black. Divided by 10. Over here, we would get 1, and this one would give us 0.3. We divide by 6 on both sides over here, resulting in 1, and this one gives us 0.83. So this value is greater than 0.3. So Portugal has a comparative advantage for toothbrushes. I'll just write tooth. So once again, um, I will write ear, tooth, and it'll be 0.8, it's a little sloppy, 0.83 is greater than 0.3. Okay, so now if we take a look at our choices here, in order for these countries not to gain from trade, it has to be one of these values. It cannot equal this value, or this value, or this value, or this value. But it's asking about toothbrushes, so we can eliminate this right here. We don't have to worry about these numbers. So Zimbabwe cannot have answer choice B. And because 5 over 6 is equal to 0.83, and remember here that 0.83 belongs to Portugal, and Portugal has the comparative advantage. What this means is if it was 5 over 6, as the opportunity cost. This would change it from 0.3 to 0.83. And instead of them being greater, now they're equal to each other. Well, we don't want that to happen. Otherwise, why would they trade? They would not be able to gain anything out of this. 
somebody has to have a comparative advantage. Thus, answer choice B is the correct answer.